Hi, I am Vinit Upadhyay, leader of Team Amo from Indian Institute of Technology, Madras. We are a group of undergraduate students who have come up for with the vision of developing underwater technology for un exploration and inspection. This is the first time we are participating in AUVSI RoboServe with a motive to gain exposure and insight in line with our vision. We have done a couple of iterations with our vehicle, we have done experimentation and we will take you through the various subsystems of the vehicle. Hi, I am Ravi. I have the mechanical division of Team Amo. Amo has state-of-art hydrodynamic dual health heavy bottom design. This design enhances the stability of the vehicle and increases the maneuverability of the vehicle to perform various tasks of the problem statement. The whole structure is mounted on a structural frame. Experimentation has been done on several designs of structural frame to enhance the performance. The, the latest frame is the efficient design with an overall reduction on drag by 30%. Pneumatics based actuation mechanisms were used for dropping the marker and launching the torpedo as per the problem statement requirements. I had the electrical subsystem of a MOOC. Amog houses an intelligent processing unit to process the complex algorithms, vision feed and, uh, and the inbound sensor data. Sensory sol solutions include an IMU for the orientation feedback and the pressure sensor for the depth feedback. There are various other uh, current and voltage sensors which relay the AUV state and health parameters. Uh, the peculiar characteristic of the electrical architecture is the custom designed motor controller to run the seabotic thrusters. Amog is powered using a bank of lithium polymer batteries which provided the endurance time of around 2 hours. The electrical architecture has, has been evolved over the past few months. We have moved over to SMD PCBs as compared to the circular PCBs in version 1.0 which has given us the space advantage and made the system more efficient. Hi, I am Kishore Natarajan, a member of Vision System team for Amog. Amog's navigational decisions are based on the outputs of processed image from the camera feeds. So image processing tasks of Amog are split basically into two phases. The first phase involves brightness enhancement which includes histogram equalization, color enhancement where we do uh, dehazing techniques and finally we do a color correction using cross channel mixing. The second part involves higher level image processing tasks where we do object detection and pattern matching. Object detection first involves segmenting the object based on the color and then geometrical constraints are applied on the objects to detect an object. Finally, the pattern matching techniques involve scale invariant future transforms. 